Hello again everybody, Doc Bass here coming at you from BassFishingTipsAndTactics.com and today I'd like to look at you know this question or, or exclamation uh, statement that I have on my little blackboard here. Uh, let's look at the easy answers approach to bass fishing. Does it exist? Doesn't it exist? Where does it come from? Where does this mindset even really come from? And you know what got me going on this is after visiting a couple of uh, forums that I frequent uh, over the last several weeks, the same types of questions are often posed on those forum posts. And it's things like, you know, what's the best bass lure to use today? What's the best time to go fishing? Is today even a good day to go fishing? Quite frankly, in my mind, any day is a good time to go fishing. Um, as long as you can get to the right place at the right time, um, that's what's keenly important. You know, what, what lure colors do I use? And then one question that I ran across today I found particularly interesting and it's this forum question down the bottom where the person is stating that, you know, this coming weekend they're fishing a tournament for both bass and crappie, okay? And then he wants to know if there's any techniques or fishing secrets that can help them on this endeavor and they even go to make the claim that, you know, only answer if you really know what you're talking about. Well, you know, th there's a problem with this whole thing. I, I think it comes down to a little bit of the mindset or maybe somebody's been watching too many commercials you know and they're looking for that easy button you know like you see from the Staples commercials you know does the easy button exist in bass fishing? I mean yeah there's those days when you can go out and just kind of you know stop someplace and make a cast and catch you know a few decent bass or, or you know uh, several bass or a really good bass whatever the case may be completely by accident. You just happen to be at the right place at the right time throwing a lure that happens to work in that location and things just came together. You didn't put a lot of thought into it. I mean I had one of those instances years ago with my little brother uh, back when I was a teenager and uh, we went out to this pond and you know he takes the lure out of my box a Bill Plummer's frog and throws it into this drainage ditch between two ponds that we were fishing and pulls out a five pound bass. I never caught any fish on that lure. He catches a good one, you know, and my first reaction was it was just luck. Now, if I thought about the situation more, this is a place where water was draining from one body of water into another. You know, it's getting towards the summer. There's bait, more oxygen coming in through that area. There's a lot of different reasons why that fish might have actually been holding in that location and the reason why I caught that fish out of there. So what's my point here? Well, you know, even though people might like to want to know the answers to these types of questions, you know, what's that best lore? What's the magic secret technique that's going to work today? There are other things that are keenly important, and it really comes down to one, partially a mindset, you know, having your mind in the right place, but more importantly, what are the factors that are really going to influence your success when you're out in the water? You know, what species of bass are you, are you actually going for? Is it largemouth? Is it smallmouth? Spotted bass? What's the time of year? You know, what's the local weather patterns? Has it been a cold spring like it's been here in the Midwest, cold winter and, and, and cold spring, which is definitely affecting things. Water temperatures are still definitely on the cold side. What type of water body are you fishing? Is it a stream, a river, a pond, a lake, a farm pond, a strip pit? You know, is, is it a reservoir? Now, what type of body of water, you, uh, water is it? What is the depth range of water levels in that, in that lake? Uh, these are all important considerations. If you're fishing from shore, if you don't have access to a boat, you know, can you get to areas where there's likely to be bass present? In, you know, during that time of year. You know, if you were to go out to a an area or, or one of the lakes around here today, and you could only get into an area where it's really shallow, is being as cold as it is, you know, the fish might not be quite up there yet. So even if you're told exactly what lures are working for people who are going out and having a success now, they may not work for you because the fish literally aren't there. Okay, You have to understand more about what these fish are doing and where you expect to find them. Um, what's the water temperature? What's the clarity of the water? That's all going to affect some of your lure choices and, and even your approach to that water. What types of cover is being fished. You know, what color, you know, are you fishing areas with down trees, rocks? Uh, there are no weeds this time of year, at least in this area for the most part, but that's going to have a big part to, again, one way you might expect to find fish, and two, what types of lures you find and other considerations.
So, rather than just asking those nice little simple questions, what's the best lure? What's the best time of day? Stop and think. Take some time to really learn about what's going on relative to what you're trying to accomplish. Catching those little green and brown finny things that we, you know, bass fishermen tend to uh, almost uh, worship. And uh, when you take those things into considerations, in these things like I have on this uh, little slide here, on, this, on my little blackboard, you might just find yourself having greater fishing success. success. I hope that gives you some pointers and help, uh, helpful hints. Uh, more coming your way from bass fishing tips and tactics. Have a wonderful day. And remember, tight lines and full live wells.